Hello, in this session, we will create a material using Substance Designer. First, add the Cells for Noise node. Adjust the Scale and Disorder properties to find the image you want. I will set Scale to 6 and Disorder to 0. Next, add the Edge Detect node. Similarly, adjust the values to Edge Width, 2, 82, and Edge Roundness, 6, 11. Now, apply the Warp node. Warp is a node that distorts pixels based on the gradient input. For the gradient input, use Perlin Noise. Copy the nodes you've created so far. This is to create an effect where the water reflects something beneath the surface. Adjust the values of these duplicated nodes to be different from the original ones. Then, use a Blend node to combine the two sets of nodes. You'll need to select a Blending mode because it determines how the blending will occur. I'll choose Add, Linear Dodge, and set the opacity to 0.6. Next, modify the duplicated nodes to represent the water's reflection. Add a bevel node and adjust the distance to 0.29. After that, add a histogram range and a slope blur grayscale node. Slope blur grayscale applies blur based on the slope value, which can create unexpected and diverse effects. Connect a clouds 2 node to the slope blur grayscale node and adjust the values. Samples, 3, and Intensity, 1.43. Add a Blur HQ Grayscale node to apply Gaussian Blur. Then, connect an Anisotropic Blur Grayscale node to the Blended node to apply Directional Blur, setting Intensity, 4.74, and Anisotropy, 0 0.5. Add another blend node and connect the two sets of nodes. Set the blending mode to soft light. Next, add an invert grayscale node followed by a directional warp node. Use Perlin Noise as the gradient input for the directional warp. Now let's create the base color, normal map, and ambient occlusion, AO, for Unreal Engine. For base color, add a gradient map and set the colors to resemble C colors. Then, add a Levels node to adjust the overall brightness. For Normal Map, add a Histogram Range and Blur HQ Grayscale node before generating the Normal Map. Adjust the Intensity to around 14.43. For AO, simply add an Ambient Occlusion node.
Finally, add output nodes for each map and name the output images. Then, export the images. Launch Unreal Engine, create a new material, and name it M-Water. Import the exported images into Unreal, select all of them, and drag them into the Material Editor. Connect the textures to their respective slots, base color, normal, and ambient occlusion. To add movement, include a panner node to the material. Go back to the level, add a sphere, and apply the material to it. Also, add a plane to test the material.